and so do you want to know what is the best kind of outro you can have on your videos you're doing personal branding you're doing attraction marketing you're trying to get, attract people to you and you're posting content so what do you put at the end of your videos to get the most traction the most sales the most prospects the most people on your list what is it that I do you've if you've been watching and if you are listening to this video on any of the platforms I post on you're going to see that at the end of it uh except for the full video there's going to be a little outro at the end of it that's what I do and I'm going to show you how to do that and why you got to do that in just a minute but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so one of the things you got to ask yourself is why are you doing videos or why are you doing content online what's the ultimate goal right I mean sure you're doing it for you know because you like doing it because you like engaging with people you like to help people all this is all very good all very important but what is the real end goal right I mean obviously if you're like most people online the end goal is to you know make money to be to be a millionaire or you know be home with your family not have to worry about budget all these things but that's not what I'm talking about we all want that everybody wants that and even those that don't work for it they still want it right we're lottery and whatever but what I'm talking about is what is the end goal of your content how do you get to that point right well the answer is to, by having a list by having people that follow you by having people that know you that like you and that trust you right that's what personal branding is all about so how do you create content and bring them to that conclusion right so the conclusion would be that people will want to get on your list right so that they start to you can start to nurture them with emails you start to with content with all that stuff so what is it that you need what am I talking about I'm talking about having something at the end of your videos that will bring people to your blog so because your blog is where the world revolves around your content right there it's your content it's your audience people that go to your blog are there by choice so they are going there because they like you because they want to follow you right they can see you on social media and everything but you know if they're not going to your blog then they're just you know randomly seeing you right and eventually maybe they will end up there but you want to bring them to your blog so how do you do that how do I do that let me just kind of show you what I do um <clears throat> let's just uh, look at my where is it right over here I actually have let's just go to some files I have on here where is that right over here and it's in here and it's in yeah let's just look at this let's just do this okay let me just uh, let me make this bigger oh, interesting okay so let's just show you this first of all I have this at the end of my video right you've seen this before at the end of my video I have this that's text and there's also me talking and reading it why do I do that because you know you can read right <laughs> you can read it's because if I do it on audio by the way if you're listening to the audio of this I'm going to show you how to create the end of this audio as you are going to hear it not too long from now you're going to hear the 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 whole me um what's the word the narrating my my image that I'm showing on the screen right now but go check it out at cis255.jsgagnon dot com so that's cis two two five five dot js going on dot com so uh yeah so this is the the this is what I have at the end but I mean just an image is you you, you know it's an image right but how do you do that so then I have also I uh, created a video right which is basically different different resolutions you can see right here right just different resolutions but they're all basically the same thing I don't remember what I did what are these ones but uh, these are older things but if I look at the ones that I'm using now uh, which is this one this one here 
so this is actually the one I use now right now whenever I um, create a uh, create a video I add this to the end of it so let's just turn the sound off this was part of an episode turn the sound off <clears throat> but you know as you can see it's moving along right here right it's moving along because it's a video that I'm reading now, how do I how do I get all that I mean it's it's pretty straightforward so let's just uh, show you okay what is it that you need right what is it that we need what we need is we need to have text to put at the end of a video we need to have a link where you want them to go to so you got to kind of decide these things before you start working on this you need to have an image we want to show with text <laughs> it could just be a black image like the one I have there but you could also you know put your logo do other things whatever you want the image <clears throat> to be you can start with a different image and then you have to record the audio because I use the audio for podcasts as well right as if you're, you might be listening to this in a podcast right and the thing is that <clears throat> that is uh, so I want all those pieces of content everything I post everywhere I want that to have something that brings people to my blog at the end if they're interested I mean obviously not everybody's going to be interested in that that's okay if they're not interested in you and your content don't worry about it because not everybody's gonna like you right not everybody likes me some people think whatever but you know <clears throat> uh there's people out there that do they do like me there's people out there that do like you and you can get this done so how do we do this okay so let's just <clears throat> let's actually get it all done I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a whole new set for a new let's say for example I'm just gonna make up something that's kind of relevant to me I don't I don't know if I'll do it but let's say that I want to create a video every single day about um creation of assets for syndication right so I'm gonna do a video one day that shows how to um like what I'm doing right now right create the outro to the end of the video I'm going to do another video another day they're going to show how to <coughs> uh, extract audio from files what are the tools that are available different options I'm going to do another video another day that's going to say how to create a thumbnail for a podcast uh and how to <coughs> another one where I show how to uh, host, uh post your 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 podcast on Alexa and another one is going to show how to do it on iTunes and on heart iHeart radio do all these different episodes about syndicating your content right creating your blog post setting up your WordPress it's kind of stuff I do in my course income secrets but let's just say I want to start a syndication a series just for that so I'm I'm going to need the same end to all those video every single day so what am I going to like redo it every single day I'm gonna no I'm gonna set up something that I can just duplicate every day right so I need the outro I need the image and I need all. so how do I do that so first of all I'm gonna go inside of paint I got this over here let's just close this because it's an old one <clears throat> I'm just gonna look and by the way you can use all kinds of tools you you're gonna need an image editor you're gonna need a, a video editor and an audio extractor or an audio recorder right so let's get the image done first so first let's do an image I'm just going to use paint uh paint is uh part of windows and there's obviously tools like similar to that in other uh platforms I'm just going to go and say I want this to be uh 19 well let's do it 1920 by 1080 right like a, a, a normal hd image right so I'm just going to zoom out so that we see the whole thing on the screen actually let's move this a little bit because it's not seeing the whole thing there you go okay so let's say this is the whole image it's a 1920 by 1080 now one of one of the things that I would recommend is a black background because when you're watching a video um you probably want to fade to black at the end uh and then transition out to this because let, let me show you kind of what I mean if I if I look at one of the videos I did uh, like yesterday's video right and I look at the video here the trimmed version so what I do is I do multiple trimmed versions I do a two minute one for Twitter so that means that I take the video that I have the full 30 minute video and I cut out the beginning of it up to about uh one minute 40 or something because on Twitter it's two minutes 20 and then I add this this trailer at the end right so and then I do the same thing for the five minute one but it's you know obviously a bit longer but both of them have the same kind of like effect right so if I open this up and I show you what I mean 
so let's uh I'm actually going to turn the sound on so you can uh, let's see I'm just gonna let's make this a little bit smaller so it fits the whole screen so I'm going to actually turn the sound on so you can kind of see what I'm talking about at the end here I have this right let me just go to where it ends right about here okay so I'll just pause it so what my video does uh it's actually okay so what my video does is that the I just it just cuts off at a certain spot and my voice lowers right and then it fades to black at the same time and then the image shows up and I start talking right that's what I'm saying you need to do to have the best experience for your visitors to bring them to your blog to go see the rest of your content right so this is how it works so I'm just going to do this like this I don't know if I need to bring the volume up uh actually I'm going to turn the mic I'm going to turn the mic off and I'll just uh, let the video play right now you're going to see what I'm talking about create podcasts as well and if you're listening to the audio you probably want to go check out the video at cis25 this was part of an episode from course income secrets so you see what I mean like at the end my I, I keep talking but it just kind of fades to black and then it switches over to this right now this you need this to be able to do that right so how do you how do you do that right okay so let's go to back to here so I did the fade to black so that means I put the I want the background here to be black so I just go here I fill it with black okay so now it's black background now what I want is I want white text on top of it now you can obviously use all sorts of tools to make some really nice pretty text you can put in a whatever you want this is going to be the image that's going to show at the end right <clears throat> so I'm just going to put the text in here I'm going to say uh, this has been an episode from uh, content syndication secrets right let's say I want to create content syndication secrets maybe I will <laughs> but you know I do this right so I, you can do whatever you can you know obviously with paint it's pretty straight pretty simple tool I can do like 55 if I want whoops 55 it'll resize it a bit bigger I can kind of move this around a little bit I can now the one of the things that the basic uh, uh, paint doesn't have on 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 windows is that you can't actually center this inside your box it's, I don't know why but anyways there's other tools obviously this is a very basic thing it doesn't really matter but if I really want to use this I can just do this and then afterwards I select it right here and I just move it a bit right move it up there you go center it like this I can actually take this whole thing and I can move it and center it right there right so whatever right I can go in here and I can say I can go find my let's say I go find my uh, my image my let's go to my images here I got my profile picture let's say I want to put this picture here uh, these are all old a bunch of pictures here but which one is it? this one here I want to edit this I want to insert that inside of my I can just go edit right just opens up in another window here I copy the whole thing and then I just go back to the other one and I paste that in here right so I can go like this I can paste my picture right there if I want right then I can say um if you'd like if you'd like to continue watching or listening or if you'd like to continue this episode you can find the link to the full video and blog post in the descriptions description or comments <clears throat> and then I can put uh, go to syndication secrets.com for more right so I can actually actually this I'll take that out of there I'm gonna move make that the same I'm just gonna make this here Oops. Turn this off. okay Lost, that's it okay so I'm just going to do this <clears throat> obviously you can change the color let's make it red or whatever it doesn't matter you know and I can paste another piece of text right here and I can make this a little bit let's make it longer like this make this go down here make this right here 
and then I can just make this let's say blue made this blue blue this blue and there you go okay so now it doesn't matter like I said the image is not the point the point is how to do the whole thing you create an image that you want then I'm just going to save that file save as I'm going to say uh, <clears throat> uh, uh outro image right I'm going to save it inside the folder of the series that we're in right now the one we're doing right now just put it right in there right over here and then I got now I have the outro image right so now what I need is I need to create <coughs> the uh the well this I probably need to record the sound for it first so let's record the sound we're just I'm going to keep the image on there because I'm going to read it right I'm going to read it and record the sound for it so let's just make this like this okay so now that's the next step is recording the sound so I'm just going to go I don't even know if the uh, audio recorder is there an audio recorder voice recorder there you go <coughs> sorry about that so I'm just I could you can use a whole bunch of different tools obviously I'm just going to use this as a I'm going to I haven't actually used this on Windows 10 let's see how it goes so I'm going to record what's on this screen right now right there I'm going to read it and the reason why you do that is because like I said if you want to do podcasts you want to take the audio out of your videos then you need to say what's here because people that are listening to the audio won't it'll all of a sudden be no sound right plus you know even if they're watching the video they might be listening so you want to be kind of reading it for them so that they're if they're not fully paying attention right okay so how does that work so I just let's see what happens I'll just click this this has been an episode from content syndication secrets if you'd like to continue this episode you can find the link to the full video and blog post in the description or the comments go to hd go to well yeah I probably don't need the HTTP there right let's stop this I'm going to do it again I'm going to edit this I don't need this this there at all get that out of there delete that move this over here uh, make it closer I probably could have done this right the first time I should have uh, anyways that's the thing right when I'm um and this is how you create content let's save this again okay I'm going to record again so uh can I delete delete all right so let's do it again let's do it again and then we'll have the right recording for what for the next step this has been an episode from content syndication secrets if you'd like to continue this episode you can find the link to the full video and blog post in the description or the comments go to syndicationsecrets.com for more that's s-i-s-y-n-d-i-c-a-t-i-o-n-s-e-c-r-e-t-s.com syndicationsecrets.com there so now I recorded like a 31 second or so video right so I'm just gonna I don't know I'm gonna save that is there a, there must be a save no <clears throat> open file location <clears throat> save well I guess I can just open file location and then move it right I'll just take it from there oh it's an m4a so I'm not really sure if that that'll work it probably will I suppose it's windows so I imagine it will so let's just uh, leave that there for now I'm just going to leave that there for now okay so now the next part is you need to create a video of this picture with the sound in it right so now what I'm going to use is movie maker so again it's the same thing there's different tools but what you need is two things in here you need the image and the video right so we go and we take the image let's take the image first um where is the that's actually let's see am I where am I over here oh that's actually where I'm at okay so over here course income secrets in the folder we're in right now uh where it's uh, do, 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 right there so we have the image right here so let's take the image put it over here so as you can see it puts the image in here and it puts it at a certain length by default and in this editor it's seven seconds so if you go to edit right here you see how it says duration now we know that we recorded a 31 second video sorry 30 second sound for the video so we're going to just put it at 30 seconds it'd probably be fine 
and then we're going to take the the audio and we're going to copy it in so I'm just take that put it right over here and put it right at the beginning and then now we have the sound with the image right so now I can play this this has been an episode from and by the way as you can see right here the sound is starting off right there a little bit I can actually move this I'm not sure if I can can I all right okay I can actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the beginning of this and it'll make the video a little bit shorter so I just go to here and under audio music tools I'm going to split I'm going to delete the beginning of it I don't need it and then at the end let's see how it ends right because we don't want to keep uh, you know um, no sound at the end or whatever vacationsecrets.com so there I can cut this part right there audio split and then cut that part out of there and then the sound is now how long is the sound does it show you how long yeah 30.3 start at 0.6 so I mean that's basically <clears throat> you know it's not uh, anyways you do the math whatever you and then you can do the image the video tool the image itself instead of 30 seconds let's make it um let's see 25 no that's not good let's do let's keep it at th anyways you, like I said you gotta do the math make sure that you got the right numbers there so that it matches it's uh, actually 29 probably around 29 seconds let's see what happens at the end here dot com for more that's whoops I don't want to do that just gonna... dot com syndication secret yeah maybe a little bit more than 29 so let's do 29.4 there you go okay so that's good so now once you have it you just go here you say save it and I I do it as a 1080p right uh you, it doesn't matter there's different options right I can do Windows 8 1080p it just tells you that it's super high you know but I the 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 you can set certain settings but you can also save both the 720 and 1080p at two separate things we're actually going to do that right now I'm going to save it at 720p and I'm going to put that inside of that particular folder the same folder we're talking about now the other thing you can do is you can actually save the project here in case you want to go edit it so you don't have to start from scratch like we just did um I'm going to put that in here I'm going to call this outro uh with voice 10 uh, 1280 I'm just going to call it 1280 because we're doing a 1280 save right now 1280 by 720 right <clears throat> save that and it's going to export it to my computer you know from the, from the and it's going to create this little you know outro video that I can use so okay so now I have the video recorded I can save it I'll cancel that I'm going to save it again as a 1080p version right so it'll be the same thing but it'll be 1920 by 1080 right 1920 so those are the, the HD formats right so just save that as that resolution it doesn't take much longer because it's just an image right um and then then you have this uh you know what I'm actually thinking this would be cool to create content syndication secrets wouldn't it <laughs> but anyways all right so um <clears throat> okay so that's the that's it there so now we have the two outro videos now we have the videos if I if I cancel this I go actually I can save the project see save and I'm going to call this it's back in that's an old uh, place uh, course income secrets the same folder I'm in right here let's just scroll down all the way down this one here and it's going to be just I'll just I won't rename it just leave it there so now whenever if I ever want to go and change something make maybe make make it half a second longer or whatever I can easily just open it right so I'm actually going to take this um and move it this audio which was here I'm just gonna move it to here as well because I want it to be inside the same folder <clears throat> probably need to close this maybe well I guess not okay that's fine so he's he's fine so now I have this this image I have the video the 1280 the 1920 I have the original sources right the saving of the project so now what I need is I want to create a trimmed video I'm not now I'm not going to be able to do that here because it'll take a while to load up but if I go and if I want to do that 
uh let's say I want to create a two minute video for uh uh for um well for for Twitter two minute video because Twitter is two minute 20 seconds right so then I basically open up the tool I go inside my folder right here I don't have today's episode that's the one I'm recording right now but I can go in here <coughs> and I can take the full video right here the full video where's the full video right here this is a full video right I just put it in here and now it's going to load it up it's going to read in the the uh, the sound it takes a while right so that's what I'm saying we won't be able to do it right now I probably could have <laughs> maybe loaded that up or maybe what I can do is I can actually pause my recording and then come back when this is done all right so it's done I'm back so as you can see the video has the images and everything so I mean I could trim the beginning take out pieces whatever, but that's not what we're going to do right now I just want to add I just want to make a two minute video for Twitter so what I got to do is I got to go find where the two minute mark is at as you can see on the well you can see the numbers there then then we're at one minute 38 one minute 55 so let's say that's the one minute 55 but you remember the the outro that we created is 30 seconds right in my case 29 seconds and a half or something so if I want to make sure that I'm below the two minute 20 seconds I have to go cut it 30 minutes before that so at one minute 30 right or 30 something so I'm just going to put one minute 30 uh yes 30 let's say 32 33 whatever that's fine and I could I could go find a better spot and you know try to position it but let's just cut it right there I just go to here I go to split and then I cut the end of it so now I have a one minute 33 second video right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add the outro so this is my outro I have here let's say I want to create a 19 at uh, 1280 by 720 I'm just going to add this one to here and now the other thing I need to do is I need to uh, fade it out so at the end I'm going to do a fade out of a slow fade out and what that does is it'll fade out at that point and black I play it right here let's say I go back a little bit here I play that and watch the video and go read this has been so this tool isn't the best at doing it the way I showed you earlier but it still gets the job done and you end up with a video that's two minutes and three seconds that you can use for Twitter so obviously we would go save it then we would have the video for Twitter right so I'm just gonna go I'm gonna show you something now uh that you might think so first of all now you have all the the ways to do it you got the pieces that you need and you have a video um and then you're gonna you need the tool you gotta go into the tool to do the five minute one if you want to do a 15 minute one for a 15 minute one for Pinterest you want to do a 10 minute one, 10 minute one for LinkedIn you do that you got to do it multiple times and you got to do that every single time you create an episode right every single time so that's one of the things that really bothers me is having to do this every time it's it's not that complicated and it's not super time consuming but you can't you, you got to be in front of your computer for the amount of time that the thing processes and the saves and reads and all these things and you got to do that more than once for every single episode you create what if you could do that without any of that what if you could create the content that way without any of that I have been building a platform and basically on Click eCourse you've got there's a syndication platform if we go to Click eCourse over here under more there's syndication so if you go to syndicate uh, Click eCourse I'm gonna actually put that right on here uh that's not it um the link to Click eCourse is right here so if you go to Click eCourse slash syndicate you're going to end up on this page right here and it kind of explains the process of how it works and you just have to register you click on the register button here you enter an email or use your Facebook to register and then you activate your account then you go to your account so I'm just going to log in into my account and show you how this works <coughs> how really uh, easy it is to do this <coughs> so now I'm in here I'm going to go to syndication and I'm going to just create a new series I'm going to call this uh syndication secrets 
syndication secrets all right so that's the series inside of the series I'm going to have an outro video I'm going to cut I'm going to create an outro video I'm going to import this video we just created I'm going to say say it's over here it's under under my episodes course income secrets and it's down here right in here I've got this outro right here <clears throat> and then I'm going to save that so it's going to upload that to the platform it'll become the outro that it uses for every single episode that I create I don't have to I don't have to do it more than once right it's all done for me every single time it'll be it'll be ready and I just need to specify the episode now uh I don't have yeah let's do that uh, okay so the other one podcast we don't need to worry about it I'm just gonna click on done right now I'm going to create a new syndication and this is going to be number one right it's going to be um the first episode or whatever it's a title right that that would be the title of the episode <clears throat> uh just click on next over here where's the url it's going to go to hps colon slash Serge gagnon.com slash syndication okay whatever the so a page I mean that doesn't exist but let's just say I'm going to put that for now for that and then I'm just going to say next step and then I have to upload or specify a YouTube link if I if I have a video already uploaded in YouTube I can just put the URL right here it's also Facebook and Vimeo com compatible but I'm just going to upload instead choose a file and I'm going to upload you know an episode right I can do this I could do this video right here this full video right here which is a yeah that's a full video we're not going to upload it right now because it's going to take like you know half an hour because my internet's super slow but what I can do is I can show you um I can show you in my other uh, remote computer here how that works I got a remote computer right here that I can show you on this exactly the same thing we're just going to reload the page <clears throat> um, syndication syndication we're just going to reload the page I'm already logged in and we're going to go to the apps the series that I just created which is this one here my syndication secrets <clears throat> and this episode the episode I'm working on right now and it's on the video source step right so I'm going to do upload and I'm actually going to choose a file that's um that's not it's not this is not the right like you know it's not real it's not the real obviously not a real video I'm just going to take one of these and just specify this one right so I'm going to upload that so that uploads the video to the platform again so that video is getting uploaded and after the video is uploaded <laughs> that's where the magic happens so let's just let it finish I'll go back to the other one here and I'm just gonna go to the next step <clears throat> so the video is loaded up now and and I can go through the video here and find the spot that I want to use as a thumbnail now the thumbnail is something uh, separate from what we talked about we didn't really talk about that but let's just say I want the thumbnail right here so 937 all right and then the next step is the full text just go back here make sure I have this here yep so the next step is the full text so this is the first episode of this series pretty amazing stuff going on I'm showing you how to create a outro video with text for your shorter shorter videos so this allows you to have native assets for platforms like Twitter LinkedIn and Pinterest those platforms <coughs> those platforms do not allow 30 minute videos and and, and posting and posting links to um, YouTube upload is not recommended recommended you really should be posting native 
content but it takes time to create native content every single time like we just went through this right so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the assets using the platform so now once I've got the video uploaded I like I said all right I've got the title I got an episode number I've got the information which is the link the url to where this should be a page right probably syndication some some url where that has to do with this episode then I have the video source that I just uh, uploaded and finally in the text I have the text now this could be a full page you know it's basically a blog you can click on this to kind of see the whole thing in the on their browsers you can have more room to edit um, and then after that you just go to generated assets you click the generate assets and then magic magic starts to happen it just starts to create everything for you you can go away and have your coffee do whatever and then uh, come back later and you get the video so let's just do that we're going to pause the video again and we'll be back in a moment okay well it's not there's a there's a bug let's not worry about it so it's as you can see though it is processing these and you can actually go and see some of these images but we're just going to go show you another uh, one that I did what it looks like so for example when I go to this one oh this is actually not done sorry uh, back to the list let's go to this one here that's done okay so once it's finished processing now you have all of your um all of your assets done you can generate a zip file if you want and you can download it all to your computer so you can then use that to upload so you're going to have the trimmed video you're going to have uh well in this case by default it sets up the two minute and the five minutes so you can use the my nose is itchy sorry about that <laughs> you can use the two minute on twitter you can use the five minute on pinterest and linkedin if you wanted you could do a 10 minute and a 15 minute you know really you can just set it up the way you want then the audio you can use to post on soundcloud or on itunes or on a platform where you do podcasts and you can have a short version of the audio as you can see the downloads ready now you could click that and save it I'm not going to do that because like I said my internet's not that great um but let's see if the other series here is done it's still processing said 13 percent so um let's just go back here and I want to show you what the uh the, so basically if I go to this one which was done already and I just click on the download for that specific one it's going to load up the video hey my that friend is that is in that series right so if I go to the end you're going to see I have my tire content end, right my end over here let's just uh just go back make six and I should have waited a second this was part of an episode yeah, that you can do you that'll point. even be better than his process obviously this was part of there you go so now that's going to be the exact same thing of what we did if we if this other one finishes let's actually let it finish even though there's an there's some errors and I can't create the full zip whenever there's errors uh let's just wait for it to finish and I'll come back and I'll show you the actual processed video of this particular syndication that we just did with the image we just created right we'll show you how that works okay so he's not finished everything I fixed the issue with this podcast one but anyways let's not worry about that because we're not showing you that right now but if I look at the one that's finished I can just click on the download right here right and we will see that the video hey my friends so do you want just do that let's go over here then you know than 20 plus it's possible to do all right so let's first uh <laughs> sorry first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to so it looks like it didn't work that really sucks because that's really what I wanted to show you I don't really know why it wouldn't have worked um let's just go and see if the series uh, is, has a problem with this input mm. well I'm gonna have to look into this the, this is the thing right when you build something new there's going to be some issues but that's basically the process how simple it is to actually just generate an automatic um oh I know what the problem is <laughs> I didn't upload the video did I the trim outro is is that right it is right trim outro trim outro hmm trim outro it is there 
and the trim is going to use trim outro does it use trim outro yeah the input trim outro right there hmm I'm not sure I'm not sure but in any case that's how it works when all this works properly it's as simple as uploading the video clicking the button and waiting for it to generate everything so if you want to do that of course go to clickycourse.com syndicate as you can see right there so that's click c-l-i-c-k-e-c-o-u-r-s-e dot com slash syndicate so s-y-n-d-i-c-a-t-e all right so clickycourse.com slash syndicate and that's where you can find this tool all right so that's uh, that's it for today and hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon next time